my code and most important summer fragrances part two if you haven't seen the part one i will put the link here for you without any further ado i want to start by house of perfumes de marley sadly so this one is a very citrusy and herbal fresh and slightly unique type of fragrance it smells different compared to most of those citrusy freshy summer fragrances we have here mint and lavender at the background of the fragrance and it is very citrusy Citrusiness is here a bit different, most of citrusy fragrances, lean, sour and acidic, but this one is very smooth with added sweetness, I have to say. Lasts only 5 to 6 hours plus in terms of longevity, projection and CIG is average, at some points below average for first hour, hour and a half, and it is a complimenting fragrance. Next one is one of my absolute most warm fragrances in last 3-4 years, without exaggeration, I am talking about Versace Dylan Blue. It is not for everyone, as it is like incense and dark at the dry down, but works great with my body chemistry. It is like shower jelly, slightly fresh and has some sort of, uh, let's say, old school green vibe at the background and gets incense somehow salty or darker at the dry down or earthy because of patchouli. It is not a wow or groundbreaking type of fragrance, but for whatever reason, it has some sort of fascinating effect on people. It is not as complex as most of my highly expensive fragrances, but gets com better compliments compared to those fragrances. For whatever reason, I don't know. Last newer batches, last on me 8 hours plus, with 2 hours of good projection and sillage, and one of those absolute complimenting fragrances. Let's continue by House of Armov. No, it is not Club de Nuit Intense Man. I'm talking about Club de Nuit Private Key to My Life. Such a heavy bottle, it is like twice as heavy as Club the new I have to say. Oh. So it is take of arm of on Bulgari Tiger. It is not exact clone of Bulgari Tiger. But uh, yeah, I can say it is like 85 to 90 percent close. Why it is not exactly like that? Because it is way more woodier compared to the uh, Bulgari Tiger. It is like sour, citrusy and leans very heavy woody at the dry down, which I really enjoyed. It is extra de parfum concentration. Man, this one lasts like 12 hours plus on my skin and projection and sewage is crazy with this one. To be honest, I can't do more than 3-4 sprays with this one for spring and summer. At the opening, it is very citrusy, fresh and fruity. At the dry down, it is more woody, I have to say. It is not a linear fragrance, but you can still get like 10-20% of that opening, that freshness of the opening. But it is more about woodiness at the dry down. As I said, it is like 10-12 hours plus in terms of longevity and projection and CIG is very great for first two, three hours in terms of compliments. It is one of those absolute complimenting fragrances. I have to say it is like a top five most complimented fragrances in my collection from House of Armov. My next most worn fragrance coming in from House of Gio Germani, Aqua di Gio Profondo. So at this time I can say I am wearing it more than Aqua di Gio Profumo, which is one of my absolute favorites forever, all time. So this one is more youthful, more modern, and I can say safer compared to Profumo as it has not something dark or incense at the dry down. It is like sweet, aquatic, aquaticness is here, not oceanic. It is like watery and very clear. If you are familiar with Mastic, you can get some sort of mastic vibe at the background of the fragrance, which is very rare to my nose in the perfumery and works great with this DNA. So I can get like 10 to lovers plus longevity with this one. Projection and CIG is good for first two, three hours, but in an airy and transparent, let's say clear and soft way. And my core and most fragrance fragrances from House of Prada. It is Luna Rosa Ocean Le Parfum. It is very new in my collection, like less than two weeks. But for whatever reason, there is something different, magic in this fragrance. I can't get, oh my goodness. I can't get enough of this one. I don't know why I can get some sort of Daraj feel out of this one, like Daraj by Resasi, I mean. And plus freshness and some sort of weight to it. Ah, it maybe it's my bad, but I get that Daraj DNA at the background of this fragrance. It's like fresher version of that fragrance with added woodiness. For sure this is way safer compared to that fragrance maybe it is me but if you have both of these fragrances in your collection please check and let me know if you get that dodge ish dna in this one or not 
tastes like sweet, tastes a little bit spicy and gets woodier at the dry down. It is a very sexy fragrance. It lasts like five to six hours, let's say barely seven hours on my skin, but on clothing, even after washing, I can get it. It is very sticky on the clothing. Oh, I haven't received any compliments yet with this one, let's say, but I think it is a compliment giving fragrance as it is uh, close to Dorage and has that woody weight to it. I think it is a compliment giving fragrance, but I haven't received any projection of CRGs. I can say average for first hour, hour and a half. Take care, guys.